was born without legs, but there are plenty of other ways to move. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> the all-new series, Armed and Ready, tomorrow at 10, only on Travel Channel. Lake Michigan is one of Wisconsin's greatest natural resources. It channeled European explorers and immigrants to its shores along the peninsula and provided a bountiful harvest of native fish. There was more fish in the lake than there, there'll ever be again. Yep. Today, most of the native fish are gone or severely depleted by overfishing and the invasion of exotic nuisances like alewives, sea lamprey, and zebra mussels. Those species compete for food and alter the ecosystem. The harbor city of Two Rivers was built on commercial fishing. 70 years ago, 35 fishing vessels were based here. Today, there are two. Both of them are operated by fourth generation fishermen Jeremy and John Culpa and their uncle Kenneth. We're basically the last boat other than my brother, and that's it. Being a fisherman on the Great Lakes means long days, brutal winters, and precious little income. One of the few fish left for commercial fishermen to harvest is the Great Lakes whitefish. To catch them, fishermen set trap nets 600 feet wide and 1,500 feet long. Are you up high enough, boys? Yes. It's an ingenious system. The net in the water is a giant floating box. You have a mouth. They pull the mouth onto the boat and then just keep pulling the net. Yeah. So all the fish in this giant box of a net are just pushed further and further to the back of the net until you start bringing them into the boat. The net pulls in whatever happens to be swimming nearby, including a living reminder of how things used to be. Oh, come on! This is a lake trout. What a beauty! Today, the Department of Natural Resources stocks one million lake trout a year into Lake Michigan, just enough for sport fishing. I love this fish, but not for commercial fishing. What is left for the pros is one of the world's most underappreciated finned creatures, the whitefish. This is one of the truly delicious fish of the world. You can broil them, you can grill them, you can saute them, you can smoke them, you can pickle them. It's a keeper if it's 17 inches or longer. See, tail off the end of the board. We score just one box from this net. We gut them on the boat and save the livers for later. We haul them back to Susie Q Fish Company the last commercial fishing processor left on this part of the lake. And the last place locals can buy fresh white fish for a long-standing Door County tradition, the outdoor fish boil. Immigrant fishermen brought the practice with them from Scandinavia, using the onboard stove to boil up some of the day's catch along with a few potatoes. The outdoor fish boil has come ashore in the modern era, Two Rivers firefighter Kevin Sear heads the department's annual fish boil fundraiser. Most Fridays, he fires up the kettle for the fellas at the firehouse. Occasionally, extra guests like the police chief, city manager, and retired firefighters wander in to feast and chew the fat. Seven gallons of water and three and a half pounds of salt are heated in a cast iron kettle over a wood fire. Potatoes, onions, and carrots are lowered into the boiling water. The whitefish is cut into small chunks and lowered on top of the vegetables. We got a little double decker. No, that's what you gotta do. Once the fish oils rise to the top of the pot, <laughs> the boil becomes exciting for the crowd to watch and slightly dangerous. The lads insist I'm outfitted in safety gear in case I do something wrong. We're gonna put some kerosene on the fire. <laughs> the goal is to get the oil and the scales and the gross stuff off the top of the... Right, because that floats to the surface. Yep. And there's a neat little Midwestern firehouse trick. Yep. If for some reason I turn into a human firework, stop, drop, roll. You gonna remember that, Andrew? I am gonna remember that. Make sure when you do this, you're gonna have to back up fast. <laughs> Stand aside, citizen. <laughs> One, two, three. That's all it is. 
That was awesome. Wasn't it? Yeah. Now tell your kids not to play with fire. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> but see, best of all, it actually works. They cleaned all the stuff off the top. Yeah, well, there's a team. I mean, that's minor. My work here is done. It's a simple but absolutely delicious plate full of flavor. That whitefish is so fantastic. It's firm, it's clean, it's not fishy at all. Not at all. That's as fine a fish to eat as there is. And there's more than one way to cook them. Retired firefighter Claude Richmond used to make fish in the guts for his colleagues at the firehouse. It's the easiest, and some would add, not the most appetizing way of cooking whitefish. Claude uses the whole fish, guts them, leaving all the entrails at the bottom of the pan. And what does cooking them on top of the guts do? You gotta cook fish in oil or something, though there's oil in the guts. And... That's a very good point. I mean, this is clearly from a bygone era where you need to keep things super simple, super fast. And they used to make them on the manifold in the boats. Is that true? That is true. God, they put, they put... Not everyone eats the digestive tract. Some just go for the meat or the eggs and the liver. These are supposed to be good, too, the eggs. There's caviar. My favorite part. It's a little overcooked, but, you know. Mm. That's, That's very good. Very good. <laughs> this is some kind of odd connective tissue part of the fish maw, the stomach. Right That's the liver there. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, my God. That's delicious. But I'd rather eat the poached eggs and the liver on this fish than the filet. Really? To me, the great benefit is that all of these little bits of fish offal are basically cooked in its own fat. We save the best bits for last. Fish livers, floured and fried. It's like candy. How good. They're soft and sweet and buttery, and they don't have any of that metallic flavor that a lot of hoofed animal organ meats have. I was just going to say, like a cow. Mm -hmm. That's exceptional, really exceptional. Hanging on to a tradition takes work. Whether it's the guys at the Two Rivers Firehouse 